I'm going to start off the video real quick and say that Maloney is a quack. Maloney is a naturopath from Maine. Um, in Maine, they can be called doctors, so he is a doctor in Maine. But uh, naturopaths believe in using minimal surgery, minimal drugs, and if you are going to take uh, some form of medicine, it should be berries and herbs and teas and other such natural things. It, it's stupid is what it is. Um, but he had written an article in a paper, or had, was presented in a paper, that disparaged the use of the flu vaccine and talked about how parents should be using elderberries and such in order to protect their children. And a student saw this and came out and said, Maloney is a quack, and, had, and he had a blog that was... Uh, associated with this same paper. And so uh, Maloney denies that he had anything to do with it, but the host of the student's blog took down his blog, suspended it for his remarks. And so that, of course, has gotten a whole bunch of other people involved in sharing the news that Maloney is a quack. Thank you. Let's continue playing now that we're done with that. Oh boy, I don't want to get started. <laughs> I don't want to get started on the whole naturopathy crap. I told you to close the door when you're doing that, dude. That's disrespectful. Hey, your bombs are finished, Holmes. I made you ten. Tylenol points at the corner at the table in the corner of the room. They're over there. You have to excuse me now. I got other orders to finish, Holmes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got the bomb. Oh no, someone set us up the bomb. So you set the bombs on the screen here. You see, I've already got a potion, so I'm not going to buy another. You can carry three potions. You can carry 20 bombs. Now that the bomb is set, you can't do it in town, but you just use the A button to throw a bomb. And they have a really high attack power, if you notice there on the screen. It was, uh, what, 66 compared to our sword which was 20-something, I believe, if that high. So now, take a look at our map. We have this map here, which is the Kazdra map, and you can see that the pass, Nogales, is over here, which matches up with this pass. But we're actually going to go to this cave first, because as someone spoiled in the last video... No, wrong button. Undo. Straight north of Hutia, there is that cave. So you just travel straight north, avoiding all the extra random fights that we don't need to get into. And the road does not lead straight to the cave. you got to take a detour around these lakes. Wonderful lakes, just big blue rectangles. And this is actually Arsenal, where we have been before. Except it only let us come in here... Uh, real quick to fight the one lizard man and then leave. But there's actually some stuff in here that we want. Did I say you could hit me? Huh? Did I give you permission to touch me? Quiznos before was talking to us and made us leave before we could grab this. This is Hauza! I wanted that to sound like Wowza, but it actually sounds like Hauza. Or you can talk about it being the bomb. Not the bomb. It would actually be a cannon. A Hauser. Oh, I should have showed you what it looks like. Access your pause menu. Alright, so our sword, there we go, has an attack power of 31. This has an attack power of 36, which I'm pretty sure Big, uh, Big Mac by Gillette can tell us is larger. That's a bigger number. It's a higher number. Okay, where do I want to go? I want to go straight over this way and follow the mountains until we hit the pass. And if I've managed to fight anything before I get there... No, it doesn't look like I will. And now for the real trouble. When you turn, you don't just turn on a spot, you kind of swing around a bit. And so it can be really hard to get uh, through narrow passages like between... Nogales! To get through uh, narrow passages, like when you're on a bridge or something, to try and line up, it can be a real pain in the butt. Wee! So basically, now we get to pretend like we're Xena. 
The Hausa at any given level is stronger than the sword. Aw, oh, you jerk. If you get knocked off the edge of the cliff here, you don't die. You just lose a little bit of energy. So that's the Hausa. I actually don't like using the Hausa that much. Um, it's... I don't want to say cheesy. But it definitely is easier to use it since it's usually stronger. And it's got that extra range to it. This is not entirely necessary. Remember the little girl who wanted us to collect fruit from Nogales? Because... Everybody knows that heading over to Nogales and buying fruit is a great idea. Here we're going to gather that fruit. Now here's a big pit we can't get across. And over there is a heart container. That was just to show you. Uh, you'll notice halfway across that pit, I decided to fall straight down. That is because there is an invisible wall there. So even if you manage to do one awesome jump, it's not going to let you land on the other side. Which is actually kind of smart game design. They've made it so you can't trick it. Even if you wanted to. No more fruit? Okay. Outside here, we're not in a dungeon. The monsters don't respawn automatically as quickly and easily as before. Like you would see in the storehouse, or even down in that cave with the uh, scorpions on the bottom. Wee. Oh, you jerk. Ugh. Don't, no, don't fall. Don't fall. Thank you. Anything in that tree? No. When you have the fruit, you're supposed to take them back to the shopkeep and sell them, or, if you equip them, you can eat them to restore health. Mmm, fresh fruit. Very good for you. And here... No, I'm sorry. A little bit further on. Whee! Watch out for falling rocks. This is the entire avalanche that is blocking Nogales Pass. This one... Big, <laughs> big rock or small pile of rocks. If you could climb, you could climb right over that, and it wouldn't pose a single problem. Oh, by the way, there shouldn't be any voices in this one, because I'm not really any more in this one, because we're in the middle of a dungeon-esque area. Now here, this rock blocks you from moving forward. You can walk into it, so it's not just a background element. And actually, you can see, like, the skull is in front of my legs. You can't blow that up. You would think that you could, because of the fact that it's not just a background element, but there's something there. And if I remember correctly, you give me a bunch of apples. Yes, get them before they fall. Sweet, tasty apples. You can sell the apples. Um, you can eat the apples. Don't give the apples to the little girl. You actually don't give her your hard-earned apples. I think you can maybe give her one or some. But, actually, much later in the game, there's a dude who wants apples, and so you can come back here and grab more apples, or, if you're smart, and... Way to fall, dude. You'll just keep the apples that you gather right now, since they don't take up any inventory space. Now, where am I? Okay, I'm over here. Perfect. Die! That's what I was looking for. This here cave. What's so special about this here cave? Well, we're on the other side of the pit now. You can remember we came into this um, on the south side of the mountain and headed up. Then we went over the mountain and now we head down and we get in from the other side. I think that's kind of cool that they paid attention to the 3D spatial capacity. Yay, we have more hit points now. And when you step off of this, a bridge forms. When you step on it, the bridge disappears. So what you have to do is, and this is the tricky part that I hate, jump onto the bridge. And if you miss, north or south, up or down from here, you fall back down into the pit with these scorpions. Which is not that much of a problem. Ugh, die. Give me the heart. Thank you. But that'll just provide a quick little uh, shortcut so that if we head back south to go to Rysis or Pugia, we don't have to worry about uh, climbing completely over the mountain again. I don't know what these two skeletons were doing when they died. I'm not, I'm not sure. Bomb you! And are we going to be able to make it to Kazdra? Alright, so now that we're up here with the 
nicer music. I shouldn't say it's nicer. It's it's certainly nice. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to make... Well, yeah. Overland is not that uh, slow. You walk pretty fast. As long as we avoid the fights. Whee! You'll notice that there's that cave on the map here. And uh, we can't get to that right now, I don't believe. Or if we can get to it, we don't want to. We want to go up to town first. Alright, here I want to go this way. I'm going to get to town right as the video ends. This was perfect. I think. Ah, you know what? I'm not going to. Just know that next episode we're going to start in town. 